Hey, welcome everybody. I'm Pierre. Welcome to the garage. Uh, today's going to be kind of a shorty. I needed uh, some threaded rod and uh, you know, like pretty small, uh, pretty small gauge, like 832, which is uh, about, I guess, something around four millimeters in uh, size for metric uh, viewers. Uh, I didn't have any on hand, and uh, I had I needed about six, six to eight inches. And uh, to get something decent, I was wondering what I could use. I was looking for my uh, stuff around, but uh, the only thing I could find is that was close enough welding rod. So I'll show you what uh, I did and how I did it. It's very like it's simple, and if you uh, get the uh, sometime get stuck and maybe looking for a way out. Maybe you consider this trick. So let's go to uh, see what we need and uh, let's uh, go and do it. Now checking in the machinery's handbook, which is kind of the uh, machinist reference. Uh, you find out that the major diameter for 832 thread, 2A class, uh, the maximum is 163 yes my eyes are right yeah 163 and minimum is 157 within a tenth of a thousand okay so happens that the welding rod is pretty close from what we need we're on the lower uh, the l lower requirement for the diameter but we're there it's going to be a, a class 2 And also, we're just going to be using a handle like this uh, hexagonal uh, die. It's not any special quality, it's just like a very uh, ordinary quality, but it will do the job pretty nicely. Okay, to achieve this, uh, I'm using a 532nd 6010 rod. It's a welding rod. The uh, coating on it, you don't need it. So, get a pair of pliers, the grip there a little bit, and just crush it a little bit, as simple as that. Okay, the powdered powder is mostly gone. Make sure you hold that sandpaper in a way that if it starts uh, wrapping around the uh, the rod, it just leaves your hands. Never, uh, never get a sure grip on sandpaper because it's gonna get a sure grip on you. Okay, the rod's pretty clean. Scotch bright to finish it up. Now, I'm going to slow this down because uh, I'm going to have to follow up with the uh, because I'm going to have to follow up with the tap, the uh, the die. Sorry, I'll uh, just oil it good. The die, it's an 832. Just put this on the end. Get this. Lock the uh, tail stock. I'm right on the uh, on the end there. A little bit of pressure. I'm gonna start late about uh, I don't know 50 RPMs or 70 RPMs. Okay, when I start, I got a follow up. I'm using the uh, tailstock to follow it up because if it if it doesn't get followed up, it will just go crooked. And 
applying a very light pressure. If I apply too much pressure, I'm gonna uh, just strip the, uh, the thread. So just keeping it up. And uh, I've got a foot pedal on this lathe, so if I want to stop, keep on the process, stop it, and that's it, hold the, uh, hold the die. There we go, this is the, uh, the thread coming out of the, the die, makes a very decent thread. Hey, that's it, today I got off trouble uh, easy, just welding rod to a threaded rod. You know, with maybe I don't know, 15, 10, 15 minutes or uh, something like that. Uh, that got me off the hook. And uh, if you appreciate it, if you liked it, go for a thumbs up. And uh, if you want more, just subscribe. And there is also uh, down below there comments. Appreciate. Uh, let's say you have suggestions or whatever, positive stuff. Be uh, be my guest. I'll be uh, I'll be more than happy to uh, you know like uh, exchange with you. So till next time, it's Pierre saying so long, and uh, we'll see you.